In this video, you're going to learn how to set up the Haas ST10 CNC lathe. First step is going to be to come over to the control panel, go ahead and just hit power on, and then wait for the machine to power on. After the machine's powered on, you need to follow a couple simple setup steps. First thing is going to be to press the emergency stop and then release it. Next, we want to open the door and close the door. Then come over to the orange reset button, hit that twice. Then go ahead and hit power up, restart right next to it. Now the machine's going to go back to its home position. After it's in its home position, come back to the control board and hit 5% rapid. Now we're ready to put our stock in the jaws, so we're going to go ahead and open the door. Right here we have the chuck. To open and close the chuck, you've got a red foot pedal down here. So if you hit it once, it'll open it, and again it'll close it. So now I'm just going to take my stock. I've got two inches marked on it. This number's going to change depending on which part you're running. But I'm going to line that up with the edge of the jaws here, and then I'll go ahead and hit the foot pedal to close it. Now I'm ready to set my offsets. So the next step is we want to change to the first tool that we need to set our offsets for. So in this scenario, I'm going to use tool three as my first tool. So I'm going to come over here to MDI. I'll press that. This screen will pop up. So this MDI stands for manual data input. So here's where I'm going to put whatever tool number I want to change to. Um, so go, I'm going to go ahead and press T303. That's going to show up down here in the input. And then because I already have something here, I'm just going to go ahead and press Alter. So that's going to change that to T303. Now let's say there wasn't anything in there. This is what your screen looked like. You're going to come back down here, press T303, and press Enter. And then that'll show up there. Now that that's going to be in our MDI screen, we're going to go ahead and close the door. And we're going to just hit Cycle Start. So right down here, the screen button. And that'll change to Tool 3 for us. Now that we're at Tool 3, we want to set our X and Z offsets. So Z is going to be this way, X is going to be this way. So first step is going to be come over here, press Hand Jog. These four buttons right here will control the speed of your hand jog. So the bigger the number, the faster it's going to go. We're going to start with this number. And then I'm going to come over here to my axis buttons, which is going to have my Z and my X. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the Z. And then I can spin this hand wheel to move it in. So I'm just going to be switching between my X and Z buttons, moving the tool closer to the part. And I'm going to get real close to the part. And then once I get close to the part, I'm going to come back over here to our buttons. And I'm going to slow it down either to this one or this one, whichever one you're comfortable with. And then I'm going to take a scrap piece of paper and I'm going to slowly move my Z axis in until the paper is snug, but I can still get it out. Right there, it's, it's got a little bit of friction, but I can still get the paper out. So that's where I want to set my Z for tool three. So coming back to the control panel, I'm going to go ahead and hit this offset button and just keep pressing that offset button until you see this top box highlighted in white. This is going to be our tool offset page. So right here you can see we've got tool 3, and then we've got our X offsets and our Z offsets. So right now we're at Z. Using these cursor buttons right here, I'm just going to go over to Z. So now you can see the Z is highlighted with the yellow in tool 3. So now to set my Z offset, I'm going to come over here to Z face measure. Press that button, and you'll notice this number changed. So now that that's changed, I need to set my X offset. So I'm going to come back over to hand jog. Go ahead and set whichever speed you're comfortable with. First, I want to back it away from the part. So I'm going to hit Z. And then to back it away from the part, you always want to spin this towards positive. If you spin it towards negative and run it into the part, you have a chance of breaking the insert. So spinning this towards positive, I'm just going to back away from the part. Then I'm going to switch over to my X. I'm going to go up and then back to Z. I'm going to go over top of the part. And then just like we were doing before, I want to just slowly bring this down until I get it close. And then I'll use my piece of paper to finish setting it. So I'm going to keep moving it in.
to my papers. Got some friction, but I can still get it out. So now I want to set my X offset. So now coming back over to this page, make sure this box is highlighted in white. If not, hit the offset button again. Then I'm going to use the cursor here, go over to our X column here. And then I want to come down here, press X diameter measure. That's going to measure our diameter, but before we're done, it's going to ask us right here, it says enter diameter. So this is where you want to enter the diameter of your stock. So right down here in the input, if it doesn't already say one point, make sure you type one point. And that point is very important, otherwise it'll think that you're trying to offset it 10 thou instead of one inch. So this number is based on our stock diameter. So say you're using two inch stock, you're going to put two point, half inch stock would be 0.5, and then come up here, just click enter, and you're going to see that X number is going to change. So that changed by one inch. So now that tool's all set, we're going to go ahead and change to tool five. So first I'm going to back out using hand jog, always going towards positive to get away from the stock. And I just want to back the tool turret back so that this boring bar, when this rotates, isn't going to hit our part at all. So now I'm going to go back to MDI, press that. I can see T303 is there, so I want to type in T505 for our next tool. And then I'm going to go ahead and press Alter. And now you'll see T505 is there. We're going to close the door and press Cycle Start. And that's going to change to tool 5. So now, just like we did before, hand jog, move it in close to the part, use the piece of paper to get it tight. And then go ahead and set your Z offset for tool five. So using the cursors, go over to the Z column in tool five and press Z face measure. Next, same thing, we're gonna do X. So back to hand jog, always going in the positive to get away from the part. Come up to this outer diameter here, bring it in. Using a piece of paper, get it close so that you get a little bit of friction, but you still get the paper out. Now we want to set our X offset. So come back over here. We are on the X column for tool five. Go ahead and press X diameter measure. That's gonna change. It's gonna say enter diameter. Make sure you've got one point or whatever your stock diameter is in this input column down here. Then go ahead and press enter. And that'll get our X offset. So now all our offsets are ready. We wanna go ahead and load our program. So first things first, go ahead and close the door. You're gonna go over here. Make sure your flash drive is inserted in the side. Now our flash drive's inserted, we're going to come down here, we're going to press list program. Come back up here using the cursor errors, go over to USB device, then hit enter. That's going to open your USB so you can see we have some files here. Pick whichever file is yours, go ahead and hit enter, and then it's going to say F2 to copy selected. So come over here, press F2. This Little box will pop up, copy to memory or USB device. We want to copy it to the memory. So go ahead and just hit enter with memory highlighted. Then it's going to ask, do you want to overwrite? We're going to sit, press Y for yes. Now that's done loaded. You can see our file is over here. So we're going to go ahead and press mem. That's going to open up our file. And now all we have to do is click cycle start to start our program. And you'll see the machine will move and it'll run your part and you're all set.